Hey, wanna go back to some more sorcery? And we're having a party! Dude, that was a big party. I'm still drunk from that feast. Holy moly. <sighs> yeah, that was... That was an awesome uh, part, though, I will say. Fighting the... Um, the fucking chimera monstrosity there, that was scary. But now we're gonna go to Kare, and I have a bad feeling about this, but... Bye-bye, my swin friends! Bye-bye! Journey through the Shamanta Hills is complete. Ooh! Along the way, you gain the friendship of Flanker, the assassin, and been given the key to the gates of Career. You have collected no magical artifact. You're still armed only with your original sword and have no rages and when they go. Oh! I could find. Save the cloud, I guess. Maximu, Maximu. Okay, so I could find other weapons and shit like that. Welp, I feel like I failed on that part. The crown of kings has been stolen by the archmage and taken across the parklands to Mampang. You've been sent to get it back. Should you fail, the whole of Kakabad will surely fall. Okay, man, I could have probably done this and saved in the previous part, but. From the outpost settlement in Analand, you cross the Shamunta Hills. Along the way, you spread life of defeated assassin. Travel with a mini mind to Omakasi or your life. And for the kill the dread Ament Amantico was another chimera. You face starvation and deadly t a test of character. To survive, use your blade often. You deceived, charm and tricked your way through. Your spirit guide changed uh, has, has you shamed, becoming the lion. But now that all seems a decent memory for your approaching career. The city port of traps. That sounds dangerous. Founded on a fort of the Jabai River, Karee was once a camp for the pirates who ambushed merchants, merchants sailing from Lake Lumle to the sea. But the camp grew, it became a village, the village became a town, and now Karee is a magnet for the near dwells and thieves, ruled over by council, council of villains. Let this, it cannot be, let this do. I probably think they will do it anyway. It's, but I can try my best in here. You would go around if you could, but on the far side of North Gate, the only entrance to the back on the next stage of your journey. If your request is to succeed, you must enter Cedarport Traps and make it out alive. Oh, wait, so this entire uh, part is inside. Oh! Bruh! Okay, that's pretty awesome, actually. But it sounds like it's gonna be really, really terrifying. And I love, I love the like how the it's, you know, the hills are like, you know, 3D like the cliff standing up like that. Really cool map. Twilight already. The great city of Kerry has loomed large on the horizon of all day, but has been slow to reach. The path tracing great loops back and forth through a deep and narrow passway. Walk on. You have not seen a living soul except once, when a dark figure raised across the hilltop overhead and then were lost from view. So you are naturally cautious when you round a bend on the path and see a beggar crouched low and against a rock, muttering to himself. Uh huh, hello beggar. You stop of a side behind an outcrop, but the beggar does not look much of a threat. I might as well approach him. You call a greeting and stride over. The man leaps to his feet, drawing a short stick from inside his coat. Who goes there? He demands. What is your business in career? Greetings, old man. Enough of your greetings, the beggar spits back. I ask you a question. Who are you and where are you headed? I'm a traveler. The man pokes a stick at you. A traveler? Traveling where? Obviously, carry it, but why? He puts pout, prods harder. Answer me or you'll face the consequences. Step aside, old man. I will not, he replies stubbornly. I am the city guard. No one enters carry except for me. And then, despite his age, a clear ill health, he comes in, waving his stick. I won't fight you. He's a close to your face, jabbing a few times, but you push the point aside with one hand. All right, then. We'll settle it is fairly. He tosses his stick on the side and raises his fist, and knocks the black one with scabs. 
Dude, it's like one of these like, I will fight you, good sir. I didn't want to fight you, I mean it. The beggar makes a short, braving noise, like a laugh, and then lamps on you, lamps you on the nose. It's surprisingly painful, and he's reaching for another swing. Step away. You step away back, and, and with that, the fight seemed to drain from him. He sits down again, suddenly said, Very well, you're right. I suppose I come to fantasy on my own. You're very brave. I am? He asked, looking up. I don't feel brave. I'm still alive. Don't that make me coward? He shivered. You don't have any food, do you? The man sings and shakes. No matter, then there's plenty of meat on the grass road, and you know if you nibble them. Come with me. Come with me. I'm going to carry it. I still consider you off for a moment. You're sure? I know the word for the wall, but it will not want to let me. It sounds like we can help each other. He climbs slow to his feet. A gleam of hope has entered the poor man's eyes. Very well, then. Stranger, a trade. Ah, uh, sure. Why not? You know, the more the merrier. The beggar walks a few strides ahead, the ghost of a military pace in his step. What's your name? Captain Thomas of the Fourth Legion. Responsible for the southern perimeter. He knocks his bone heels together. At your service. What are you doing out here, soldier? We were sent to investigate sightseeing a, a whole legion of us. Back when the council felt bold. But then they locked the gate and wouldn't let us back. Where's the he won't answer, shake his, just shakes his head and points sharply downwards. Oh man, dude, this is pretty sad. The path winds through gores and thick grass. Carrier squats in bass in the hills like a stagnant, fistering pool. He turns one corner, then another, and then this wall for the city are looming over you. The wars are, weren't built to keep anything out, Thomas. They were built to keep people in. It's a gigantic trap itself. You want to go back? Of course I do. It's my home. You could scramble up slope to get a better view of the wall. Sure, why not? You scramble slope for a better view of the wall, leaving Thomas below. It's form of staggering man sized stone blocks held together with gallons and gallons of mud and loam dredge from the base of the river. It curves away in both directions and broken except for the gate. Then you see something that stops you in your tracks. There's a guard post on the battlement above the gate, watching the clearing. Um, watch the archer. You keep watching the guard above the gate looks this way and that, but doesn't shift from his position. Oh. Uh -huh. Run for it? I'm gonna go down here. There's nothing else for me for it. You put uh, hand, up a hand and call out. The archer lifts his hand, hand to shield his eyes against the... Who goes there? Friend or foe? Friend. Is that so? Shouts back. Then what's the watchword? Whisper. Come to Piney. Uh. Okay. Let's see. What kind of... What kind of... Sp oh, that's... A Bit loud. Uh, create explode. What? Why on earth would I create? I don't want to create an explosion. That's that's very dangerous. Create force field. Uh, no, I don't want that. Dope was one word. Dose. Cause slowness. Okay. Dude, I, I I really like the spells and all that. Till. Okay, skull cap. Ah, shite. I don't. Man, I, I guess I need those items to really make a big difference, you know? Um, Give the watchword. And those are my, Approach! You found one nuclear. What? Can't panic. So, yeah. I, I knew we could trust Thomas, at least for now. The subject says before you, it's a tall, it's tall as two men and would be broad enough to ride three horses through, if only it were open. But I said it's locked and there's no other way into the city. Luckily, of course, you have a key. Over to you, says Thomas, steps back. You can remove the switch from your pack and sleep in the, the tumbler clicks and the key turns. Tom hangs back. Good work. But do you think it's safe to go through?
Uh, what happened? Let's wait. Let's wait. You say, Thomas, no. A few heartbeats pass, but you hear nothing from inside the jaw. Then he shakes it. I'm going for Thank you, stranger. I catch way inside. You hear nothing from moment. Then the sound of shouting voices and feet rushing away. Stepping inside, you find the jaw the third. Also, let's clear it out for you. Has cleared it out for oh you push the great gate look close key still in lock whoever the next rough the visit carrier may be he will be great for your little gift oh man I wish I could help Thomas isn't that be a nice gentleman you pause inside the uh, shadow of the gate to your left is a low stone building with metal bars for windows try the door to a low building you go over to it, it's locked but the key is still inside the keyhole at the moment two stone march around the corner dive inside the building yeah, I'm probably better to do that than trying to deal with the guards of this place. Whee! Hide! Oh, shit. The small room is dark, lit only by a narrow barrel window. It takes more of your eyes to adjust to the gloom, so you don't notice that the door has swung shut until you hear it's locked behind you. The old man who is watching sniggers with contempt glee. Well, I think I've made a, f I made a mistake. <laughs> Great him. You step toward the shadow bench. Greetings, old man. He ignores you. He concentrates hard on something on the ground just in front of him. A collection of small stones scatters as through fortune ten. After a moment, he gathers them and tosses them again. You notice his other, his, his other hand is missing completely. The left sleeve of his tunic hangs limp by his side. Look at the stones. He step over to peer at the stone, but he snatched them quickly into his palm. If you want to play, he said, then you have to bet. Play what? Why, the man replied with a shark-like grin. Swindle stones, of course. Swindle stones, you ask, intrigued. Stranger in town. Don't know how to play. Better and better. He shows you one of his stones. It is a strange four-value die. Sit. He pats a band beside him with his one hand. Play. We can talk while I beat you. My lucky day, he grins with his one remaining tooth. It's easy. You each roll a dice in circle, but we bet on what we rolled in total. You call if you figured out a player's a bit too high. The loser give away a die. Uh, okay. Yeah, sure. I mean, I'm, I'm locked in right now. Oh, shit! S the old man drops four dice into your palm and sweeps away a patch of dust on the bench to you to play. I'll go first, he said, waving his hand. Show you how it's done. The simple. We roll and bet on that come up. So for instance, I might start a bet between us who roll at least two. Ah, okay. Uh, we don't know what's on the table. Okay. I'm gonna go with this one. Grim. Did you hear at least bid? But I can only go higher. Uh, let's see. So, if instance, one must have been between us, we roll at least two fours. Burp. You call and check. Ah. Only four fours. The round is yours. Okay. Hmm. So, what's your name? Uh, playing that, do you know what to carry well? Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go with uh, bid. Do you know what Doomed. Leave it 20 years now. Uh, hmm.
Only one that will win. Okay, okay. Um, oh man, it's like. Uh, oh shit, that's a lot of ones. Start with. Try this. <laughs> Two. Could be. I hope you have one now. Ooh! Yes! <laughs> you fool! Okay, this is this is a pretty cool game. Very simple, but uh, So what's your name? Doomed. Is that your name? A name is a powerful thing. Uh, yeah, it reminds me of like the face in uh, uh, in D&D and stuff like that, you know? We see who's getting worked up now, shall we? The round is you. Hey! Dude, I'm destroying you, man. <laughs> so he must have a two. So... Uh, I'm a murderer. What did you get it for? I mean, I have one. It's a mistake. I bet it was. Mine was lifted from a red eye. Uh. Mm. Cool. Ah, shit. I hope you had a one. No, yeah, I didn't. Oh no, this started to get really hard. Okay. What happened to your arm? It was in the, it was in the guard. If that's what you're worrying about. Glad to hear that. I used to be a traveler. Then I met this ogre in the Shanker mines. Hey, I'm the winner, baby! I'm a master of the dice. The old man nods, getting up there. I want these on you, of course. Rematch? Yeah, sure, we can play again. Two gold pieces. Take the bet. Counts for the four dice and take first bid. Roll dice. Uh, What happened? That was weird. Got the score without... There we go. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna. I used to be a hero. Hmm. I was part of Glander's the Hero's group. Me, Vic, Glandragor, and Blanca. We were quite adventures. I'm gonna beat. Ancient history now. Oh man. You took one of my dice, bitch. Let me see. So tell me what what do they serve you food in here? <laughs> do we get food here? I hope you like the raw rat. I know my friend do. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for free. I feel like this should be he should have and let you at the fact and letting you have Ooh, yes! Boom! Booyah! Okay, this is a kind of like intriguing. Um... You better hear the end when I spent last night. That must have been a truly awful place. The sewer, lots of old tenants for an old rat to hide in below the city. Ah! Thank you. Um, yeah, dude. Okay, let's see. Let me see. Instead of just playing, playing dice? It's kind of interesting how you can get information out from this like this. You know? I think it's a pretty interesting way. Have you seen the room pricing here? No, I suppose you haven't. And... Hmm.
keep on thief you don't like got an itchy hand on me the question is I think he has that he needs your hand be yeah Hmm. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna risk this. I'm taking a bet that he has. No. Call. Cool. Yeah, I mean, if four fives, well, four fours when I have one and he have two dice, it's like, yeah, I don't think that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be a sorcerer, you know. Uh, can I go with before? Mm -hmm. Dude, this is cool. The woman is smashing by hammer days. Uh. He can have a two. Read people's minds. Shite. Okay, this is... Okay, uh, let me see. What's a red eye? You mentioned them. If I should say you might not sleep. Yeah, dude, you don't have that. The game is yours. Hey! Give me another game. Thanks for thanks for the game. You say standing on it once more, and I enjoy beating you. The pleasure was mine. The old man said bitterly, putting his dice back in his pocket. He leans back against the stonework and hummed quietly to himself. The old man will provide clues to help your quest. You can reveal your clues. You have found two clues. Oh, is it my item? Ah, Vic. A man named Vic runs several businesses in the city port. Okay. Uh, Glander and Vic were comrades together once. Okay. The watchword for the wall in of Kerry is Cantopa Cantopani. Okay. So I got three clues in total. I guess that's good. Wait, weapons? I only have sword. Treasures? 31 gold pieces. <laughs> yeah, boy. I beat his ass. Uh, maybe? You take a seat on the bench from who fussed with his empty sleeve. Tell me, how can I escape this? Oh, it's simple enough, he replied. In a day or two, the guard will let you out. Once they decide you're not an enemy, they just wait to consult one of the mages. And if I don't want to wait? The old man shrugs. Then you can't spell and get the door open. You're a sorcerer, aren't you? I hope you haven't locked up with a normal one. Stand from bench once more. Yeah, I guess that is true. So we're gonna go. I have no time to wait. Low oh, course from outside. Try. Can I pick it? You dig through your pack for something to pick lock with, but you have nothing suitable. You, you try to tip it so, but it's course far too long. Two minutes for sure. You give the old man laughs at you. Might as well try using your nose. Don't don't you don't you make fun of me. Damn you. And dope was it? Open lux, yes. Jamie spell opened a door and slowly quite let it go. The lock rusted tongue click over and respond. Very good, very good, old man chuckles. Leave. You smile back, then stride outside. While you have been locked up, the sun has sunk below the wall. You should be able to walk right out of here under cover of darkness. The old man is less confident. He raced out of the door like lightning. Send out ziggers! The old man is spried despite his age and is quickly far ahead of you. A junction. At the end of the yard, the road splits. Looking left, you see the guard line up in rows, running drills. Best not to head that way. To right, the road leads towards the first building of career. You can see the old man disappearing off in this direction. Can you go this way? I oh, can't. Yeah, that that would that would be quite quite. I have a very. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh, dude. Night was falling. Luckily, by the roadside is a small inn, which will make a perfect place to stay before you lose yourself in the winning streets of Carrere. Alternatively, you can walk into the fields to the right and sleep under the stars. From nearby, you hear a low bang howl. Yeah, I gotta fucking try it in, dude. I have gold, man. A sign outside the proclaims the crooked finger. <laughs> Reminds me of that game, The Crooked Man. You go inside and find an empty bar. The bartender is snoozing at the counter. Clearly, trade is bad. Yeah, I'm gonna... The bartender greedy traveler. You'll be looking for direction to somewhere else, I suppose. No food here, I'm afraid. No point in eradicating it all, but a bed for the night will cost you seven gold pieces. You will play Swindle Stone. In came now, sir. If you really can see me undoing my gold, you got the wrong idea. Not cheat, fair game. He clearly, if, if, do, he clearly don't trust, but he knows. All right. Um, what's the stake? The innkeeper hands uh, your dices and waves at your bed. Okay. Oh, it's five dices this time. Hmm. Tell me, uh, let's see, I'm gonna probably go. I hear the banging sound that feels as I came here. A banging sound could be anything. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna go with four. Are the wolves in Korea? <laughs> I heard the wolves. Didn't used to have them, but recently there's been a. Okay. Does he have two? Okay. Call. Fuck! Damn it! Mm, okay. Grrrr. So now you're too far fiercely, are you? This inn serves the guard and those coming through the gate, and you're not a guardsman. Well, that's true. Can I win this? Shit. No! Nay, he won! But it didn't put four. God damn it. I'm losing big time. Um, this place seems very empty. Well, it's low night tonight, that's all. I'm gonna go with four of these. Is it meant to be city? Welcome to Lower Career. The poor end, not many around here afford drinkable. Yes! I oh got, finally I got a point! Dude, this game. Oh! This is good! AJ is a torture to me. <laughs> Call. Oh man, please tell me it's. Ooh. Man, I'm making the recovery here. Oh, dude, bro. I hope he won't stab me. He looks like the guy that would stab you. Um, let me see. Well then. Um, I'm gonna go with two fours. I bid. Oof. My god. Dude, this game is intriguing. I will say. I like this. Simple in its way, but also like very easily to I can imagine getting addicted to. <laughs> My bid. I have one and he possibly have one as well. I'm gonna go with three ones. Please tell me he has one. Please. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Dude, this reverse sweep is like. Ba -ba -boo. Uh, I'm gonna. 
Okay, so if he has a four, I'm gonna go with two. He could make a... Yeah, I'm gonna call that because he could have... I mean, he could have like not had that. As For example, he could have a three. Well, a two. And make me like take this bet like, ooh. And then like, huh, reverse uno, bitch. The game is your... Yeah, baby! I win another. You collect your gold from the count of one more Ninky Berelec and count you another seven into your palm. I was unlucky. It happens. You want another try? I played enough. Very well, Ninky. My room got seven gold pieces then. Oh. Whee! And you had over seven gold pieces. The man showed you upstairs to, to a room. It seemed clean enough. There are no rats on the bed and the line and it seems to have been washed at least once a month. I mean, I guess that's good. After a long day of walking, the, uh, the thought of a real bed is welcome relief. You settle down. Mm, nice. Uh, you sit quietly onto the straw mattress. The sound of the city drifts to your on the night air. Shout and scream and occasionally distinct howl. You doze fitfully. You dream when they come uh, when they come are the war of are of the war. I can't talk. Like a towering monster drenched in moss and slime, the gate is wide open maw. As you watch it reached down with fingers made from flag poles and skewers the old beggar man, lifting flailing into the air. Meanwhile, the one-armed prisoner throws a knuckle of, a mi of his missing hand to the bench over and over, calling it endless to himself. Calling endlessly to himself. And so you can see the crown, seen on the dust of the far side of the north gate, and close and yet out of reach. That dream is a little bit of a mess. That's a bit spooky. Yeah, I don't trust that at all. Uh, but, well, I am going to save for now. And I'm going to continue with more Sorcery very soon. So, thank you for watching. See you later. And have a continued super great day.